Words, words, words. Words come and go. Words push each other around. English has many words from German that have since been pushed and partially replaced to give them more obscure meanings than their German counterpart, sometimes leading to funny results. Let's check some out. First, stark. Stark in English is defined as unpleasantly or sharply clear. If you were comparing a rich person and a poor person, you might say there is a stark contrast. Stark is opinionated. It gives a flavour that not only is there a strong juxtaposition, but also that something is wrong with the picture. Compare this with the German word stark, which simply means strong. So, a stark man in German is no longer making a point by a contrast. They're just muscly. Next, kaput. Kaput in English is kind of a jokey word for when something is totally broken beyond repair. This broken, then busted, then totally kaput. In German, we have kaput. This is just a more general word for a thing being broken. So, if you take your car in for repairs, and the staff tell you it's kaput, they should be able to fix it. But if it's kaput, it's a total write-off. These have both been describing words. Now let's look at some things we might want to describe. In English, we have the word hound. This is a type of dog which is specialised in hunting. So, there's connotations of aggression there, however in German, there is the word hunt. This is just the normal word for dog, so any given hound is a hunt, but not every hunt is a hound. Similarly, in English, we have swine. This is a slightly meaner word for pig. In German, there is the word schwein. This just means pig, although it could also be used like an insult. Next, flesh. Flesh is a bit of a gross word in English. It means human meat. It has all types of connotations. Whenever I hear the word flesh, I become grossly aware of what I'm made out of. This comes from the German word Fleisch, which just means meat. So if someone offers you some Schweinefleisch, don't freak out. They'll be offering you pork, since Schweinefleisch is the German word for pork. However, if they offer you some Hundefleisch, maybe you would be a little freaked out. By the way, the word for is in German is ist. So now we can almost make a couple of sentences. Hunt ist stark. Dog is strong. Fleisch ist kaputt. Meat is broken. Let's wrap things up with three more words. In English, we have iceberg. An iceberg is effectively an ice mountain. In German, the word for mountain is berg, which makes sense since this is just a non-specific type of berg, whereas iceberg is specifically a berg of ice. In English, we have earnest. This is a word of serious sincerity, openness and conviction. Strip a couple vowels out and we get the German word ernst. This simply means serious. So in German, if a hunt is ernst, it'll be quite a different dog than in English if a hound is earnest. Fleisch ist ernst, meat is serious, Schwein ist kaputt, pig is broken. Oh, and one more word, which will let us create longer sentences. And this is the German word for and, which is simply und. Berg is ernst und stark, mountain is serious and strong. Screw around, make some sentences and have fun. Big thanks to the people I made this video with, Ethan for video editing, Hannah for proofreading and script editing, and Polly for encouragement and support. Let me know if you liked the video, and have a great day!